Why do men cheat? I think this video is going to show us kind of what goes through a man's mind when he decides to cheat on his girlfriend or wife. Now, this video may seem like a skit. I don't know if it's real or not, but I still think it drives home the point. Who's so what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say, huh? The what truth? Say? Just tell me who's petty. Yes, it's someone else's. Okay, it's someone else's. What? What? Back to back the fuck away from me. Why you, Why you? Why you coming up close to me? We're having a conversation, What's right? What's her name? Why does that matter? What's her name? It doesn't matter. Because she's in my bed. What's her name? It doesn't... Do you know her Look. name? Do you remember her name? Look. Babe. Because, you know what's crazy? When we've been f***ing, you've been, you've been saying... You, you've you been acting weird. Nah, you've been, nah, you've, you've been acting weird. You said something about Layla. Who the f*** is Layla? So he's saying another woman's name while he's being intimate with his girlfriend right now. That makes it seem to me that he seems to be falling out of whatever, whether it be love, infatuation, with this woman he's currently with. Because when a man starts to say another woman's name, that means he's texting her. He's getting videos from her. He's getting pictures from her. He fantasized about actually being with her, but the situation won't allow it. That's tough. Look, can, we, can, can you just put the phone away, please? Because I, I don't think I feel comfortable talking about this with the phone on me. I right? don't feel comfortable in my own room because I found some other girl's panties in my bed. So I think your discomfort is... Babe, what do you want me to tell you? I just told you the truth. What do you want? What else do you want from me? You want to know her name? You want to know where she lives and shit? What's she going to do? What are you going to do? You're right. This is my crib. You're right. I pay for this shit. I do everything here. So why are you coming to me asking all these questions? Okay, I made a mistake. What? What you want? How many times did you make that mistake? It That doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. I think it does. It does not matter. I think it does. I'm telling you right now that... That was, all right, I apologize. All right, you've just been working a lot. I haven't been able to see you every time when we're here at night. All like, all like, I'm here by myself. What do you expect me to do? And right there, you see it. She works all the time. Now, what profession do we know that always goes along with working a lot? I'm a nurse. I can't get better work what? hours. Do you want me no, to help you pay? Talk to your mortgage or not? Talk to your manager or some shit, bro. I don't know, man. Figure some shit out, bro. She's a nurse. Nurses are one of the hardest occupations to date. A lot of people say this. I know nurses. You know nurses. I have some in my family. We know that sometimes there's a little ego that can come with it. But the hours are always so insane. And that really, really rubs people in relationships the wrong way. I would like to say I believe that the person he cheated with is somebody who does not work such strenuous hours. I believe the person he would cheat with is somebody who works a more flexible schedule that she can be around more. See, when this woman's at work being a nurse, she's probably not talking to him. She's probably not spending a lot of time with him. And when she comes home and he wants to be intimate, she's too tired. She doesn't have the time. Or, or let me say also, it could be a very good chance that when she is coming home, She's going to hang out with her girlfriends. I see that a lot with nurses too. When they do get the time, they take that money that they're not spending on bills and they hang out with their friends. They're always trying to relax and they're always trying to get their stress down. And how do they do that? By always having a lot of fun with their girlfriends. So that may be what this man is going through. I told you. I'm, I, but what are you going to do about it is my question. What are you going to do about it? I'm leaving. That's right. You're leaving? I'm leaving. Really? I'm leaving. leaving. I'm going to leave you. So you're going to take all your... Two years worth of shit with you then? Yeah. Is that what you're going to do right now? I can throw away two right years now. just like you threw away two years with those pair of panties right there. I, I don't told, know how it's not. It's really not my fault, right. yo. You should have known what you was getting into. You see how my shit made up? You see You see how my room look, how my whole crib look? You expect me to just be waiting for you all the time? That's not how I roll, bro. Now, the argument of you knew how I was before we met. I don't like that argument coming from either side because what I don't like, and we hear this more with women that you found me in the club. What did you expect from me? Oh, you found me doing this. What did you expect from me? I expect you to act different in a relationship. It is so foolish to say that if a man is to say, I was a player before you got with me, what did you expect? I expect you not to be a player anymore. I don't care how you got me. Guys, I don't care if you met the woman in the club. That does not mean she needs to still be going clubbing. I don't care if you met her shaking her booty cheeks on the table. If you got in a relationship, you should still have expectations. Now, if that doesn't work out, it is what it is. I do not agree with. If I was a certain way before a relationship, I can be the same way in a relationship or even in a marriage. Things are supposed to change. That's how relationships work. 
Okay, just because I met you at the bar doesn't mean I expect you to go to the bar and do the exact same thing as if you had never met me. That's what relationships are supposed to do. That's why dating is such a problem because in dating, people don't change. They get in a relationship with somebody and stay the same person. And that ends up trickling into a marriage because you're so used to dating and staying the same that when you do get in a marriage of commitment, you still don't change because you condition yourself to be like, oh, this is who I was before. This is who I'm going to be forever. I need some, I need some coffee or some shit because you got me hella right now. I, I got you. You got me I got you Put up. the phone, put the phone down, bro. Put the phone down. Take a seat. I'm not, I'm not taking a seat. Take no, a put the Seat right now. What the f Take a seat. Don't touch me, bro. Take a seat. You want to talk? You to talk. in my crib right now. You want to talk? We can talk. You want to talk right or now, not? Look, let me just, bro. You already got what you needed. I told you what you wanted. Can you like just get out of my face real quick? I need to get something. I need to get something to like pick me up right now because you're doing too much. This is the man you, you want to be, bro. Put this, the on, bro. this is the. I told don't you. Don't touch you. me. Don't touch me. Getting upset and getting emotional is a bad time to get in somebody's space on both sides you see now it can turn physical and i would highly suggest and i know this is hard to say because in the heat of the moment we all act foolish but if you can just get your head together for one second and tell yourself do not get in their space do not touch them because you don't know what a person can do when they get upset and they get angry we don't know so when you find yourself in a situation such as this somebody's cheating or something like that I would highly suggest leaving the room, having this conversation, possibly over the phone, the whole sit down and let's talk about it and all that. That doesn't tend to go well because there's no way to really get any real answers in that heat of the moment. You can't tell me Put anything. We're not together anymore. I will do what I want. I will do what I want. And I'm going to do what I want with a smile. Okay. Yo, put the phone away, bro. Bro, I told you, get the out of here, bro. Me. My crib. I can call the police on you right now. Oh, you can call you the police? You better listen to me and put that shit okay. down. Okay. Well, if put you hit me in the face right and I'm bleeding, put that shit down the right police now. are obviously going to know what's happening. Because you're, you're now, right there, I have to take a different side. She said, if you hit me in the face and I start bleeding after he mentioned the police, he's telling you to get out of his space. He's telling you to go away. He's telling you to put the phone down. It was you that got close to him. And started making this physical. But the second he got physical back, you went straight to, well, if I get hit in the face. So that means you would do something at this point to provoke him to hit you in the face and start bleeding. That is a disgusting tactic. What did I just say? When a person gets emotional and they get upset, this is what happens. It's not a good situation. It's best to just leave because now she's starting to be manipulative. Now she's saying, well, if that happens, I'm going to get you thrown in jail. Now disgusting behaviors are starting to come out. I'm not necessarily agreeing with the man with cheating, but it doesn't seem like this man is trying to provoke physical contact. This man is almost saying, just go get out of my face. Do what you got to do. Go live your life. He is trying to let her go, but she is so caught up in herself that she can't let it go. This is the danger, men, that you run into when you decide to do something like this. Women will get crazy. And on the other side, too, I would suggest once again, even if I was the man in this situation, leave. Now, you're taking a chance of her tearing up all your stuff. I get that. But you're also taking a chance of things getting physical. And the courts is not always going to be on your side. Either way, it is a lose-lose situation. But the best thing you can do is keep yourself safe and keep her safe. You're, 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 you're threatening my life or something, bro. You, 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 I'm not threatening you yes, at all. Yes, you are. All of this shit is on video. You're not so, and I will bro, show them everything. This is, my, this is under, this place is under my name. You is just someone staying here because I allow it to happen. So put the phone down. I'm just someone staying And we can talk about this like I'm civilized people. I'm clearly just put someone them. staying here. If you could f the other in our bed. Clearly. Look. You know what? F you. Babe. This is over. You. Okay? Just Yo, can you just go downstairs? Just calm down. Go downstairs. Calm make, down. Make a breakfast for you. Yeah, I'm stay. leaving. I'm leaving. Bro, put the phone down, bro. Just put the phone down and we can talk about it. Because right now you're out of line. I don't want to talk about shit. I just explained to you. Look, I don't want to talk, talk about, about shit. I said we can just Leave talk about it. Leave me the phone. No. Let's no. My own door, bro. No. Let's just talk no. about it. No. Hey. Get away from me. Hey. I don't see you anymore. Hey. I don't trust you. Hey, what about you? You still got all your stuff here. Hey, can we just... I will send somebody to come get it. Just, just stay away from me. Now, before we go off saying he's a monster, he's disgusting, he's all that. 
I think what we need to start doing when it comes to cheating. Okay, I'm not sitting here trying to justify it. I'm not here to say that he was okay in doing this. But if we don't start to sit down with each other and at least say what led to this, when it comes to a man, okay, I feel like with women, we are quick to sit down with them and be like, well, he was working too much and he wasn't giving her enough attention and he didn't make her feel like she was a queen 24 seven and this and that. And we'll have 10 things ready to go for a woman to be like, well, it is what it is. But for a man, he's immediately a dog. I think we need to start having a conversation on both sides. This man said in this whole thing, you work too much. You're working all the time. What else do you expect me to do? Now, the whole trope is that men don't feel the same thing when we have intimacy. We know that's not true, right? We both release chemicals. We both do that. For men, it is more about status sometimes when it's to the public eye. But to a man personally, if a woman was to keep working and tell you, I don't want to, I don't want to be intimate with you because I'm too tired. I don't want to be intimate with you because I'm working. I don't want to be intimate tonight because I have a headache. I don't want to be intimate tonight because of this. That starts to get to a man. After a while, he's like, I'm tired of hearing excuses of why you can't do what you knew you need to do. You expect me to remain loyal, even though we're not married. You expect me to remain loyal, even though you're not giving me my needs and what I need. You know that intimacy for me is going to be higher on the scale than it is for you. I understand you're tired, but nobody asked you to work all these hours based off what this man was saying. You're working all these hours that I didn't ask you to work. I told you you're working too much. I told you you need to be here more. But then you're going to use what I told you. I don't want you to do as an excuse. So you working long hours after I told you I don't want you to. You're going to use that as an excuse. See, men don't like that. That sounds disrespectful. And so when a man feels disrespected, who's he going to go to? A woman who makes him feel like the man. I know that sounds kind of childish, but it's the truth. A woman who makes a man feel like a man. She takes care of him. She she talks to him nice. She doesn't treat him like he's a roommate. She treats him like he's a man, like she wants to please him in a way. I'm not talking about just being on hands and knees and all that. I'm simply saying she makes him feel very confident in himself. It, when a man feels like he can do anything with you as a woman, that's what a man wants. He wants to feel needed. He wants to feel like he is providing. And that man will run through a brick wall for you. But when you get with a woman such as this one, who makes it seem like uh, she's just as good as you or she's higher than you or because she has this job, she's above you. When you get with a woman like that who makes you feel little anytime you try to be intimate or you try to be that man and she immediately pushes you back to the ground, men are not going to take that for very long. So I believe that this man did cheat because he is eventually going to leave this girl. He's just waiting for the right time. And maybe this provided it. Now, he's trying to be nice because he does have feelings for her. But I believe at this point, he is like, I'm gone. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's just a dog. Y'all let me know. I think we should at least have the conversation of what could lead to a man cheating. And then we can go from there. Let's just start opening our eyes just a little bit. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.